Hola my people, welcome to my channel, my name is Healthy, yeah so as you can tell from the title of the video, you already know what it is, but, but first things first, let me apologize in case of any background noise, you know what it is, it's on a Sunday and everybody's at home, so my apologies, without further ado, let's get right into it. So once you get into my house, the first thing you see are these beautiful shears. I love love everything in plain colors. I don't like seeing, I don't like mixing colors. So my shear has to be white, as you can see, it's plain white. And then my curtains, turquoise blue, and my marigold yellow. I blended them to break the monotony of the color. Yeah, I love love how they look. And then right beside it there's this beautiful small mat when you get inside you wear the shoes to keep your legs warm yeah basically this is how the pathway looks like when you get in my beautiful throw pillows and my beautiful bedside mat and my warmers these are the warmers that i wear when i get into the house because the nairobi weather is not weathering the cold is not colding yeah so this is the narrow pathway you can see when you get uh, inside the house or rather from the doorway allow me to show you my beautiful beautiful two throw pillows this is the apple claws this is how they look i love 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 them because they are giving yeah so on the upper part of this wall it was so plain and i decided to do this little DIY to break this wall from being boring so this is how the DIY looks like for those who loves playing more you could put a mirror over here here yeah, for me I'm okay with that now the farthest corner is the beautiful me you gotta manifest every morning that you are beautiful yeah so basically I'm so sorry about that so basically this is how it looks afterwards we get into my bedside area this is how my bed looks like I love love plain colors so as you can see my duvet is white and and gray so I love it the way it is this is how it looks this is the up close of my bed this is my sweetest place in the house yeah I know and that is my beautiful self <laughs> with my pajamas don't mind me so right afterwards uh, there's this plain wall also on my bed area I decided to do this DIY with my fundi let me show you how they look so all these deco pieces I got them from home deco 254 and also house of leather this is a beautiful flower running down 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 on one of the deco pieces and the other deco piece this is what i decided to play along with and the beautiful art and on this other side this is a flower and a bicycle of course they give life to my house they give life to my house and they make the house to look a bit bright and it pops up it pops the house and complements it really well so this is how it looks from the top up till the bedside area so right after the deco pieces there's this beautiful mirror yeah right after the mirror there is this extra mattress i like making everyone comfortable so when you come into my house like three people more <laughs> i can lay it down for you so that you can sleep of course my my house is not that big but ah uh, you can afford a comfortable place to sleep and then right afterwards or right uh, beside my bed there is this when you walk right uh, this way you get a beautiful beautiful mat yeah it makes my house warm i mean i mean who doesn't love comfort who doesn't yeah please comment down below and let me know 
so right beside my closet area or closet organization area so as you can see on this basket this is where i've kept my scarves my belts and my what my hot water bottle and of course these are my books and books and more books oh my god and more books then these are my sunny glasses of course your girl loves swimming <laughs> swimming is part and parcel of me yeah you gotta swim or swim then this is where i store my sticky notes and my hair bands this is my Maasai bracelet this is my alarm clock and this is where i store my makeup this is my printer what else this is my german bible my auntie gave it to me so on the lower compartment this is how i've arranged all my sweaters the longer ones the shorter ones up until the farthest end because i can't arrange them in in an orderly way like the white the black ones the floral the plain colors it's tiny and we gotta minimize the place i mean you have to you have to there's no uh, there's no any other way yeah so this is where i put my trousers and since my house is so tiny i decided to make the lower compartment as ashura yeah and it complements it really nice then this other side is where i keep my towels and then my bed sheets these are my tops and pajamas and what have you my skirt area my jumpsuit my shorts and then this is where i keep my oil yeah everything and my watches yeah so basically this is how my closet looks like and of course how can i forget my favorite thing it makes my house look really gorgeous yeah i love it i really do i really do so this is how it looks like so right beside the closet area i decided to make this part to be where i'll be having my my bags my backpacks and my sling bags yeah as you can see there's nothing major going on on this area i just love it that way and then on the lower part i kept my cookware box and my microwave box because there's nowhere else i can place them and when i'll be moving out i'll be needing them like asap so before i forget this is where i put my vision board so that i can memorize my bible verses every morning and every night it works i've achieved almost three quarters of the things that i wanted to do this year and i'm like yay i'm so happy i thank god so welcome to my entertainment stroke kitchen area <laughs> let me laugh because it's so tiny anyway small spaces matter too yeah so this is how it looks like this is my water bottle this is my cookware and then this is my fridge as you can see that is my kettle and that is my blender on that side then this is my microwave my mini tripod and then my tv area as you can see nothing major is going on on this side either way so let's welcome to the <laughs> to the mini kitchen yeah so this is how the kitchen area looks like in a nutshell this is how the kitchen area looks like So on this kitchen table, this is where I keep my clean film as you can see, my ironing box. This is where I keep all my storage bags, my carrier bags, I mean, sorry. Then this is my fruits basket and also I store my vegetables. This is my tea bags, that is my honey, this is where I keep my drinking water. This is my cook of course. This is where I place all the things that I need to replace so that I can see it easily. So right beside it, there's this tiny little bead bar, bead holder that I made it myself. These are the normal beads that the ladies keep on there. So I decided to to make a to make a small holding bar for my kitchen tissue, as you can see and towel i mean so it works really well and then those are my extra plastic glasses 
this is where I keep my spoons yeah I just minimize the whole area yeah to fit my things my chopping board where I wash my things these are the maize the young maize I'm going to use it to make more so I've just removed it from the freezer yeah and then on the upper compartment since I don't have a cabinet like a proper kitchen cabinet this is where I store my tiny things and my spices. I cook a lot, yeah. So, spices cannot miss in my house. I mean, I mean, I mean spices cannot miss in my house. So, on this side, this is my dish rack. Where I put all my utensils and whatever. Then this is my cup organization area. Here, the whole of it, as you can see. So this is where I place my sugar, I put my sugar, this is where I put my rice, and then this is where I put my cooking flour. Then on top I've just kept myself raising flour because I love this flour. If it misses in my house I will feel sick. Then this is my kitchen towel, the one which is used for wiping my cups and my utensils. Then on this side it was so plain, <laughs> nothing major is happening here. I just decided to play along with this. This is where I store my padlock or keep my padlock so that I cannot forget easily. Although I'm not a forgetting person. This is my toilet mirror. That is my... Uh, what is it called? This is my towel for wiping my hands once I'm using the sink over here. So nothing major is happening here. These are just the normal things. My detergent, dental and mouthwash. So basically this area, this is how it looks like until the lower compartment. As you can see, this is my garbage bin or trash bin. And this is my storage container where I put my extra mat and extra duvet covers and extra what? Extra towels. I can open it for you to see. Nothing major is happening over here, just to keep the area organized. And then over here, this is where I store my extra shopping. <laughs> Don't laugh at my two jars. I know they are two because my house does not have a problem with water. Yeah, this is majorly where I store my extra things. The blender, I'm yet to give it out. Because I have, a, I have mine over here. And yes, guys, my fridge is working. It has food. There are no lies over here so that you can say, oh, for this plano, it's working. The only thing which is missing are juices because it's cold. You know, the cold weather is not colding, so I rather keep myself warmed up. So let's get into my bathroom area or my washroom area. So on the upper part, on the upper part, this is how it looks like I decided to play along. With this towels to make it look nice that is my roses they keep the toilet smelling really nice my shower where what else this is where i keep my soaps for bathing toilet essentials basically nothing made in Brazil, yeah toilet essentials and then what else this is my towel for wiping my toilet once i've washed it or once i've finished bathing i don't like water over here so yeah then what else? This is a DIY thing I decided to make it myself because I never had any tissue holder on my toilet and it's working perfectly fine. And on this back door, my towel basically and my face towel. So I don't think there's anything major happening on this side. So this is how it looks. Yeah. And my floor is so clean. I mean, look at it. So clean and it's giving, yeah, it is. It's giving. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for watching my video until the end. Please subscribe if you haven't. And let's keep growing as a family. So, see you on my next one. Bye.
stood out cause you were in red Man, against my intentions I let you turn me violent instead Summer high, met you in August New York back to my cold apartment Distance sucks but at least I'm still with you